my name is Laura Elias. I'm a neuroscience graduate student working in Arnold Kriegstein's lab. Uh, we're in the Institute for Re Regeneration Medicine here at UCSF. And today I'm going to be showing you how to do organic typic slice culture of E18 rat uh, brains. So this procedure uh, involves uh, dissecting the brains out, embedding them in low melt agros, then slicing them on the vibratome and taking your coronal sections and then placing um, them in the slice culture system. So there are a few important tools and reagents that we use for the slice culture procedure. Um, you'll need a dissecting microscope to dissect out the brains. Um, we also use this uh, v Leica VT1000S um, Vibratome, and uh, that's a good system for uh, cutting your slices. Um, the glue can be important. We use uh, this uh, Loctite 404 glue that uh, glues the brains very well because sometimes if you use the wrong type of glue, the brains will, will come off when you're trying to cut them, and that can be problematic. Um, we also use uh, these uh, millicell uh, filters, that, these are the filters um, that we plate our, our slices on um, while they're in culture. And this is also an important part um, of the process. All right, so before you start the slice culture process, there are a couple of, of steps that you'll want to uh, take care of. So first you need to make your ACSF. And you want to, after you finish making your ACSF, you want to get this on ice so that it chills, um, as well as start bubbling it with carbogen. Um, you'll also want to make your 4% agros. So for this, you want to use low melt agros and dissolve it in ACSF, microwave it, and then keep it at 50 degrees um, until you'll embed your brains. Um, you also want to make your slice culture media. And after you make your slice culture media, you should put it at 37 degrees so it starts warming up so that when you put your slices in it at the end, it'll be at the right temperature. And at this point, you should be ready to collect your tools and start the slice culture process. All right, now we're gonna make uh, slice cultures from the brains of embryonic day 18 rat embryos. So first I'm gonna check that the mother is uh, fully anesthetized by toe pinch. Here's an example um, where the, the rat still has a tiny reflex and is pulling it, its uh, hind leg back a little bit when I squeeze on its foot. And so we'll have to wait longer or um, re-anesthetize a bit. We don't see any reaction, um, so I'm going to go ahead and open her up um, to retrieve the embryos. And I just want to pull up the skin so that I can get a nice clean cut. Remove some of the embryos here. I'm going to cut them out so you can cut in between two embryos and then we'll cut along and now we can remove this embryo and detach it from the placenta by making an incision uh, right adjacent to the placenta. Now we'll move the embryo to cold ACSF and remove the remainder of the, of the sac here. Snip off there. So now this uh, embryo is ready and we'll go make uh, brain sections. All right, so now we have our embryo and I'm going to uh, remove the head here. The scissors. Okay, now I'm ready to dissect out the brain. First, we have to immobilize the head, and we do that by placing uh, pins uh, through the eye sockets as well as um, in the hindbrain, and this helps us uh, immobilize the brain in the dish. And so, as you see here, now we have um, an immobilized brain in our dish, and we'll start by making an incision um, in the hindbrain, 
and then going forward uh, more rostrally. So I'm going to start by making an incision here uh, near the cerebellum. I'm going to get my scissors um, under the skin and the skull. And then move my incision up uh, to the rostral area. Then I'm going to make two more incisions uh, laterally near at the very uh, end of the cortex near the cerebellum. I'm going to make a incision that laterally in that direction. And then an incision there. And then I'll use my forceps to peel off the skull. such so now we've exposed the brain and I'll then scoop it out from the head and such so there you have your fully dissected brain All right, now we're going to embed these brains in agros, and I've um, pre-made 4% uh, low melt agros, and so you uh, make this up in ACSF, microwave it, and then keep it at uh, about 50 degrees so that it stays liquid. And so now I'm going to start the embedding process. So I'm going to take some of this agros, um, put it into these dishes, and we'll fill these up. Uh, pretty much to the top, these ones. All right. So then the first step is to take your brains and uh, just to basically rinse them off in a dish of agro. So you don't want excess um, liquid on the brains because it prevents them from, from uh, embedding well and sticking well to the agros. And so if you don't uh, wash them well in the first step, they tend to fall out of the agros when you try and slice them on the vibratome. And so we just swirl them around and try um, and get off excess liquid. So then we'll transfer these brains um, into uh, these other dishes that are full of the 4% agros. shown here. So we're now positioning the brains in the agros um, as such. You don't want it too close to the bottom of it or the top of the um, dish so that, it, that it'll be um, surrounded by agros on all sides. And then we're going to place the top over this dish, um, cover it up. And then we're going to place this dish on ice. so that the agros will harden um, and the brain will be embedded nicely in the agros. And the agros should harden in about five or 10 minutes. All right, so now we have our brains embedded in agros and we're going to start sectioning them on the vibratome here uh, to make approximately 300 micron thick sections that we'll, we will be using for slice culturing. Um, we're going to do this as well as all of the other uh, things we've done in this cold ACSF that is being bubbled with uh, carbogen. And um, so now we're ready to start. All right, so now we're going to begin by removing uh, the brain from the agros. So we're going to just be taking off the top here. And sometimes you have to help make sure that the, the block of agros um, comes out of the top. Let's see here. So you can just pop it down to the um, bottom portion. So now we have the agros and what we're going to do is we're going to cut into the agros so that we basically um, cut out the brain. Um, so I'm going to make uh, four cuts. One um, caudally and then one at the very front and then two along the sides. And so I'm just basically cutting out the brain just as we embedded it. 
So now we've made incisions and uh, cut our brain in the agros, and so now we should be able to basically just pop our brain out of the agros here. So our brain just came right out, and it's embedded in the agros. And now we're going to take the glue and place it on this little stage here. So we're going to just place a little bit of glue and um, place our brain right on top of this glue. So um, basically the cerebellum, the hind brain, is, is facing the glue uh, with the um, olfactory bulb or rostral end facing straight up. And so then we're going to be moving uh, uh, this into the vibratome chamber. So now I'm transferring the brain um, into the vibratome uh, where we will section it. So here we go, we place it in the vibratome. And tighten it down. Such. Um, then we will add in uh, the cold bubbling ACSF that I have on ice here. So this also hardens the glue, which is important. Um, and so now our brain will be attached uh, to the plate in the vibratome. So now we're ready to start sectioning the brain on the vibratome. I'm going to remove uh, a little bit of this excess agros here. And so we're going to just make an incision, remove that. So now we have our brain here. Um, I'm going to put the blade onto the vibratome uh, head here. So that will just be inserted here. And place the blade onto the vibratome. And I'm also going to cut this little uh, pipette here um, just so that it's large enough to pick up the slices once I cut them. So there we have that. And now we're ready to start cutting. Um, so as I said, I used 300 micron sections for this. So we're gonna wanna move our, our blade um, towards the brain. There. Moving up the stage, okay. So first we're just positioning our blade um, right at the, at the, before the tissue. And the first few cuts will either just hit agros or maybe the very uh, rostral areas. Um, but it's really just to position our blade. Um, we have the, the vibration at around seven and our speed is at around five. Um, and so we're cutting here to make uh, cortical coronal sections. And we're starting at the very rostral end of the brain and we're actually um, barely into the brain right now, so we're just starting. So, our first slice, but it almost has, it's very rostral at this point, so we'll keep making sections. So as the sections come out, I remove them with uh, my cut and place them in bubbling uh, room temperature ACSF. Um, it's also optional to put ice in the chamber here to keep everything even colder with these embryonic brains. Um, for slice culture, they seem to survive perfectly well as long as your ACSF is ice cold. Um, but for other experiments or if your brains are slightly older, you may want to put ice in your chamber just to keep everything um, extremely cold. So now we have our slices and the bubbling ACSF. They can stay here for about up to an hour, um, but we can also just go ahead and put them into our slice culture uh, system. OK, 
Okay, so now we're ready to uh, prepare the dishes in the culture system uh, so we can incubate the slices that we just made. So we're gonna just take a six well uh, plate here. Um, and we're going to, uh, in each of these wells, we're gonna put about a mil and a half of this uh, slice culture media that we've pre-prepared and, and uh, warmed up to 37 degrees. About a mil and a half in each of these dishes. Um, so then I'm going to take my filters, and so we're actually going to place the, uh, the brain sections on these filters, but beforehand these filters um, go on this media here, so we're going to place the filters on top of the media. You want to get rid of, get the bubbles at least to the side, you don't have, want to have bubbles under um, the filter. So these filters allow the slices to uh, soak up the nutrients uh, from the media while remaining exposed to the air so that they, they don't suffocate, basically. So now we have our filters um, in the dish and we're ready to get our slices and transfer them onto the filters. Now we have our slices here in this dish. I've removed most of the ACSF and so I want to quickly add um, the slice culture media because basically you want to transfer them out of the ACSF into the slice culture media. So I'm just going to add the culture media here to my slices. Try and do it gently um, so that I don't disturb the slices too much. So now my slices are in the culture media and I'll just be wanting to transfer them um, onto these filters, the three filters that I have here. And so I'm going to just take my pipette here and, and suck the slice up. Then I'll put it on the filter. You can put a couple slices on the same filter or if you want you can just have one slice. Um, I'm going to put a couple of slices here on this filter. And then um, it's important to remove this excess media here that you transferred. And so here I'm going to just basically pick up the extra media that I transferred with the slices because you don't want too much media in these uh, dishes or else uh, the slices will be covered with the media and they uh, won't last as long as they tend not to get enough oxygen. And so there I've removed the extra media and now my slices are just sitting on this dish and they're ready to go in the incubator. Alright, so now these slices are ready to go into the 37 degree incubator. Um, they should be good for five to seven days and we uh, switch the media about every three days, switching half the media, uh, replacing it with new media. And so um, I'll just go ahead and put these uh, cultures into the incubator. All right, that's it. We're all done. Okay. So we use this technique in our lab to study various aspects of cortical development, including the progenitor divisions and neuronal migration. This technique can be particularly useful coupled with time-lapse microscopy so you can follow individual cells as they divide and migrate in your slice culture.